So I'm gonna show you a one-way smoke on every single map, starting with Ancient. So you've probably seen this one before if you followed my channel. You get stuck in the, this corner right here, right off spawn. You come up to where the leaf intersects with the building here, do a simple jump throw, and that is gonna end up landing right here on the edge of this wall making a pretty ridiculous one way for any oppers or riflers coming out mid just like this. As you can see, you can see his feet. He's not going to be able to see you. I'll go ahead and show you an example. Can't see a thing. And uh, you're definitely going to get a pretty solid advantage in mid if you throw this smoke. So since I've already shown you that one way before, I'll show you one bonus on Ancient. You get stuck into this corner instead. There's a fern just above here. There's a darker leaf right at the top kind of corner of this one. You want to go up into the left, just about here where I'm aiming and do a simple jump throw. That is going to end up landing right here on this corner outside of Donut, where you can get in here and take this angle as they cross right here. It's a pretty good one way. If they crouch, they may be able to see you because sometimes it's a little bit inconsistent as to how the smoke blooms. So be mindful of that. But over Overall, it's a pretty good one way that you're definitely going to be able to get a few shots off on the enemy from. So if you followed my channel for a while, you've probably seen me throw this one way smoke on Anubis. If you just do a simple left click release, it'll pop right here. This is one of the better ones that I've been able to find on this map just because of how strong it is as they peek out. They can't really crouch and see under this, so they really do have to fully expose all the way across in order for them to get an angle on you. The only issue is this one is very, very precise. I, it's hard for me to hit consistently. I actually have to make my crosshair a lot smaller. As you can see, I just hit it there without, you know, using the camera or anything like that, but it is a little bit difficult to hit. So I'll go ahead and show you. There is an easier way that's a little bit less effective. If you crouch and just aim right here at the tip of this um, little, I guess, just at the tip of the corner here, just do a simple left click throw. Boom, that's gonna hit just like that. Um, again, it's not gonna be quite as good, but it still gets the job done. They can't peek you right here. They can crouch and almost get an angle on you, but you're gonna still get a pretty significant advantage. So since showing the same smoke twice is boring, I'm gonna show you a pretty powerful post plant or a anchor smoke you can throw by getting into this corner, finding the line right here along this pillar and just doing a simple jump throw right at it. It's gonna end up landing right up here on the ledge and producing a pretty potent one way so that any any of the uh, T's or CT's, whichever it may be, they can't see anything as they're coming down these stairs, but you can be down here like this and absolutely shoot the legs right out from under them. You've gotta be careful. If they decide to peek early like this, they may be able to get a shot off. Of course, the smoke's starting to dissipate, so there's a lot more gaps in it. I'll show you what it looks like without all those gaps here in just a moment. When it's fully bloomed in like this, they really can't see anything at all. Whereas you can see all the way into mid like this. It's a pretty powerful angle. You just have to know how to play around it and, you know, get all the timings down. So moving on to Inferno, this is what I consider to be the most powerful one-way smoke for Inferno. You just get stuck right into this corner right here, crouch, um, come up from the very top center of this shutter, move your crosser up to where it lines up with these windows. So just like this, straight up and do a simple left click throw. It's going to land right into this window. And as you can see here, a very, very, very lethal one-way smoke on anyone crossing over towards patio. And finally, I'll give you one bonus. If you get stuck into this truck corner right here, aim at the corner as shown and do a simple jump throw. That's going to end up landing up in this balcony. And if you're a T in a post plant situation, this is a pretty good one way to be able to hold. The CTs are going to have a hard time seeing you. Um, they may not even realize it's a one way smoke until they fully expose. And of course, they could probably crouch and get a glimpse at you, but you're definitely going to have a significant advantage in this fight. So now moving on to Mirage, I realize I've already shown this one as well, but you just want to find this crack right here in between these two bricks. And then with the tip of your smoke grenade on the view model, you just want to find the little divot here and position it just at this little white dot under the C and do a simple left click throw. That is going to end up landing right here into this pocket, producing a very, very lethal one way smoke for any of the T's that decide to cross over into this corner. And you can absolutely annihilate them just like that. That was a pretty rough spray. Sorry about that. But as you can see, they're probably not even going to realize this is a one way until they've peaked and it's already too late. So if you've just finished planning default on T side, you can immediately throw this smoke to give you a very, very powerful one way on door. You just want to find the notch here right on the far right of this pipe and bring your crosshair right to about here in between these two dark shadows. A simple left click will do and you jump up onto these boxes and voila, you have a very, very potent one way smoke on anyone coming out of market door. As you can see, there's not really much that they can do about this. So moving on to Nuke, if you're a ramp player, you can get stuck into this corner right here, crouch and look at the very top left hand corner of this panel right here, do a simple jump throw, and that's going to land right here at the very top of this ledge, producing a very powerful one way for you to be able to crouch and peek with the op just like this, or you can also go down the ramp and get an angle on him just like this. 
So if you're an A player, you can get stuck into this corner right here and just aim right at this where this bar intersects with the metal right here. A simple left foot throw will do. That's going to bank down, land on top of this little ledge and give you a very, very lethal one way smoke to where they're really not going to be able to see you on the other side of this blue box. It's probably one of the more strong one ways in the game right now. So if you want a way to take water control very quickly, all you have to do is get into this corner right here. Look at the top right hand corner of this window. Bring your crosser up to where it intersects with the top of the building a little bit to the right and do a simple left click throw. That is going to land right on top of this position right here. And as you can see, you get a ridiculous one way on anyone coming out. So if taking water control seems hopeless, you can just come along this back wall here until you get stuck along this pillar, do a simple left click throw right in the center of this dark window. And as you can see, it's gonna land right on the tip here of construction and you can peek any enemy from this position right here and get a pretty strong one way on them just like this. So if you followed the channel for a while, you've probably seen this smoke that my buddy CJ found. You just get stuck into this corner right here and just left click a smoke right at the top left hand corner of this box, just like this. And that's going to be the good old fashioned ramp smoke that you all know and love from CSGO. Give it a second to fully bloom in and boom, what can they even do? So finally, this one way is kind of similar to some of the old school CSGO one ways. They can still see you through this smoke, but they may just not expect you to have an angle. So what I mean by that is you can come along this back wall here and just do a simple left click throw at the bottom left hand corner of this A. And once that blooms in, you can jump up into yellow just like this. And as you can see, you've got these little unexpected peaks that you can end up spotting the guy up here on crane. And from his perspective, we'll go ahead and move a bot back into this position here. Um, I, I guess probably right about here would be the most accurate. Um, as you can see, while you're up in crane, you may not expect to be able to see a T here, but look at that. He's standing right there, but you just have really no idea. I'll rethrow the smoke so you can see again. They're probably just not going to expect you to be able to see them from this angle when they're peeking just like this. So yeah, that's two one-way smokes on every single map in CS2. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out in the long run. Thank you guys, and have a great day.